What's up fish catcher Jacoby viewers? We are out here on another beautiful day. It's a little late. I got out here a little late today. I got about three hours to fish. Uh, we got an incoming tide with a southwest wind. You can see how these waves are pushing in right here. I'm actually pointed straight north right now. Uh, either way guys, let's see if we can get on some fish. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we're going to start off with the Z-Man lure with a quarter ounce jig head. This is the red bone uh, colored Z-Man diesel minnow. Uh, usually with the south wind, the, uh, in the winter time, the water gets really churned up and uh, dirty, to be honest. But today it's still pretty clear, so we're going to use this little bit. We're going to switch off of the pinfish colored one because the water is a little green. Let's see if we can't match what the bait's looking like in here. Little bull minnows. See if it'll produce some bites. Oh, damn, what a... Oh, he's on there. Oops, for the cussing. Man, he took off with it. It's not a big fish. He smacked the crap out of it, though. <laughs> it's a good way to start off the day. First little speck here on that red bone. Jeez, chill out, dude. Redbone Z man, he is wild. Let's go back in the water. Try not to tear him up too much. Just trying to get a hook out of you, dude. He slammed it. It's a good sign. Thought he was a big fish at first. I think I just got a, I know he's just in the bottom. It's a good sign. There he is. They're smacking it like they're starving to death. You know, it has been, uh, it's a nice trout. There we go, about a 14 inch fish. It has, he, he might be, he be pushing it. He's probably about a 14 and a half fish, 14 and a half inches. They're smacking it like they're starving. You know, right now it's probably, uh, it's been cold for about actually now a week and a half been staying down in the 30s every night so these fish probably haven't been actively feeding as much only when they can so they're probably taking anything they can take right now to eat there he is yes sir Woo! about another 14 inch fish Probably gonna be a bunch of those today. Still, ooh, what it just came out of his mouth. Nice, pretty fish though. Quick release. Looks like they're loaded in here again today. I came here the other day on the first part of this cold snap we had. I could not. I, could, I mean, there's another fish. Oh, he spit it. Oh, he's messed up now. I could not get a bite on soft plastics. I caught one on a on a uh, twitch bait but even that i was casting man and i just could not get a bite could have been the water had not really sh you know cooled down enough so these fish weren't really shut down and they're still spread out dang there's another fish. got him <laughs> you can't beat this right here I'm getting bite after bite, baby. Go ahead with your bad stuff. We know you ain't a big one. We know you ain't big. Ow, ow, ow. I did not mean to stick my hands in there like that. Another nice, beautiful fish. Bunch of little guys. We're going to cast right back in that same spot because I got thumped in there every time. Not really the spot. That's kind of more towards this flat right here, but we're going to see... Oh, there he is. There we go. Got a little fish here, finally. Don't feel very big. But I got him on this usury, so I'm kind of fighting him a little light here. Yeah, he's not very big. Uh, it's a 
about a fort. Ooh, he, he's close. So the, the size limit is 15. And he'd be a he'd be a very close one, but that's a pretty fish. We get a quick release. Switched it up off the soft plastic to a twitch bait. Ooh, I'm getting tagged. There he is. <laughs> there's a little pile of them sitting right here around. There's a flat right here, and there's a big drop off, and there's a little pile of them sitting right here. It's a nicer fish. Oh yeah, that's a nice trout. Might have to net him, or he might pop this hook. Yee. Nah, we're gonna flip them. All right, there we go, folks. There's a nice trout. That's what we we're looking for. So this is definitely a 16 plus trout, or he's right at 16. That's a good eating size trout. If you were to keep him, we're gonna quick release. All right, seems to be some fish hanging out right here. He came back for it like three times. There's another one. Ooh, that might be a good one. He's shaking his head like he's a good one. I don't think he's that big though. Ooh, he's shaking his head. It might be a nice trout. He's starting to not feel like he's nice anymore. Nah, he's not that big. Another nice trout though. See, sometimes you just have to switch off them soft plastics, man. I wouldn't get any more bites on that soft plastic. Switch it up to this twitch bait. Bites, baby. It's a nice one. Okay. There he is. Another about a 14 inch fish. I got these people right on top of me, guys, so I feel weird about talking to the camera, so bear with me. This fish unhooked. Nice fish. Nice little trout. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. That's about a 13 inch trout. Oh my God. All these fish are healthy, man. Every single one has just been absolutely healthy. Look at the weight on that fish. There's another one. <laughs> they are slamming this little twitch bait. Made a good switch. Not a very big one. Nope, another small one. It's gonna be a bunch of these right in the mouth. All right, guys, we're catching them back to back now. I mean, not no definite size. We caught that in one nice one, but I'll take that action all day. Oh, there he is. That might be a nicer one. With side hooked. Nope. <laughs> that one's even smaller than the last one. Oh boy. I mean, I just came back through here with soft plastic, guys. I mean, and I switched to this little twitch bait. It's going to catch a lot smaller ones, but 
might catch another nice one here in a second i could put a mirrodine on and slow roll it on the bottom but i was kind of afraid it wasn't going to do anything much for me dang i got a bite just it drifting There he is. <laughs> this torch made a little fire. Shake their head like they're monsters, dude. Come on now. Oh, this actually might be a nice fish. It's a nicer one. Not really. Probably about another 14 inch fish, guys. Man, all these fish are healthy. Every single one of them's healthy. So that's a good thing. They're eating really good for this cold front came through. There's another one. <laughs> this twitch bait is on fire, baby. All right. Another nice trout. They're all, oh, that'll work. They're all about 14 inches. Except that one nice one we caught. Unfortunately, probably gonna have to go through a lot of these. And sometimes putting those mirrodines on will weed through those and help you find some nicer sized trout. Cause there ought to be some in here. But I'm just gonna keep doing this for now. There he is. Back to back bites, baby. I mean, every cast. And I just came through here with a soft plastic in hand. Sometimes it just takes switching, baby. Sometimes it just takes switching to that soft, to that soft plastic, to that twitch bait. A quick release. All right, back at it. So that was just a couple uh, local guys that I've seen out here and talked to them a couple times. I was talking to them for a minute, but I wanted to get away from them just because I don't like fishing on top of people. You know, they didn't care. And I mean, I don't care, but, and it's kind of hard for me to talk to the camera while people around me, I feel weird about it. <laughs> I got to get used to that. But guys, all I'm doing here is taking this Twitch bait and I was doing some, uh, a bunch of fan casts with it, but it actually seems to be better. What I'm doing is I'm just letting it sink to the bottom and then I'm just letting this wind blow me, or you can use a trolling motor or whatnot, just to keep you straight. And I'm just jigging it on the bottom like this. And man, y'all saw me catching fish left and right. Look, look, there's another one. Not no size to him. We caught that one nice one. Uh-oh, I think he came off. No, he's on there. Oh, airborne, baby. Sometimes you gotta weed through them. A lot of times this just seems to be the case. And sometimes, you know, I'm using a very small twitch lure. You could amp up the size and you might get some better fish or put on a mirrodine or a good, soft, a bigger, uh-oh, messed up his eye. I can't keep them though. Or some bigger uh, soft, pla uh, soft plastic, soft plastic, uh, huh, hard twitch baits. And sometimes that's all it takes to get the bites to find bigger fish. But a mirrodine will get you some bigger fish too. And it might help weed out the small, some of the smaller ones. But either way, it's getting the job done. He definitely chased it all the way up to my kayak. There he is. Bunch of little biddians. I'll tell you what, guys, there ain't nothing better than this. I mean, I don't care. I'm out here to fish and have fun, entertain you guys, build you guys up and build myself up. And that's all that matters. It ain't always about the big ones. Now, the big ones are fun, don't get me wrong. I wouldn't mind catching some nice trout like we did in the last video. Sometimes. <clears throat> but sometimes, that's just the way it goes. And you see right here, we have a big flat. Obviously, you can't tell, and then it turns into some deep water, and they're sitting right here on this drop-off. Oh, I just got tagged again. Oh, he's tagging the crap out of it. <laughs> He's just tagging it.
There he is. I mean, there is a pile of little ones in here. Oh, Lord have mercy. Dude, can't get you acting crazy. All right. Nice healthy fish though, quick release. Back into that agua. I know there's some big ones in here. And I, you know what? I really would like to put a Miradine on, let it sink down on the bottom, but I mean, I think we're just gonna keep it the way we're going. Come on, buddy. <laughs> trout after trout, dude. I really could just sit here and uh, park my boat somewhere and fish these fish a little bit harder. Might help weed out some of the smaller ones, but that's all right. How in the world did this happen? There we go. Nice, healthy fish. I tell you what, all of these fish are super healthy. Hey, baby. Hello. I can't believe you didn't answer my phone call earlier. I didn't feel it. Ah, well, I just got home. What'd you do? Get off early? I left at 3.30. What time is it? Uh, 3.47. Oh. Well, I'm about to... I'll probably be here for about another 20 minutes. I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> I got one right now. Yeah, go fish <laughs> you know what it is, baby. I know what it do. It's your boy. What's my catchphrase? It's your boy. No, 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 no. My catchphrase. You mean besides it's your boy? Yes, baby. Jacoby? Yes. Remember my other one? It's a toad? No! That is a good... Oh, I'm sorry. That's a good one, though. Let's go! Let's go? That, that's, that was a good try, baby. Let's go. You want everybody on YouTube to hear you? No. Well, they will. No, I don't want that. <laughs> Too late now. You called me while I was catching fish. Uh huh. Okay, well, I'll let you get back at it. All right, baby girl. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's a good fish. Oh, yeah, that's a good fish. Either this is a red or this is a Big old speck. All right, that was a good hit. What we got here? Might be a red. He hit it like he was a redfish. He's running like a redfish. Can't tell. Nope, that's a nice trout. He's not that big, but he's pretty nice, and I don't have a good hook set. All right, all right, all right. Come on. That's definitely a good one. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Come on into the net let's go he's not a giant but that is a nice trout all right guys he is not an absolute monster but it is a good one to end the note on i thought he was going to be a lot bigger to be honest the way this fish fought he fought look at this little fish he fought like he was an absolute giant i'm gonna say he's 15 inches Actually, 
He's 16 inches. So that's a nice little 16 average, you know, size trout. The best eaten size trout are going to be your 15 to 18 inch trout. In my opinion, anyways, that's my opinion. But we're going to get a quick release on this guy and then we will show you the lures that I was using today. Let's get him back in the water. He should be ready to go. Yep. Off he goes, baby. Man, that guy hit like he was an absolute stud. I thought it was a little redfish, to be honest. I mean, he smashed the ever-living crap out of it. But all right, guys, we're going to show you what we did today. So right here, we got this little uh, two and three-fourths Josuri. And by the way, it will be on the 500 subscriber giveaway. So when I hit 500 subscribers, you can uh, be a random subscriber picked for that lure. And other than that, guys, we were using the... Um, I don't know what I did with it. I'm sure I have. Okay. This is it right here. This is the four inch diesel minnow. I like to, that's one of my go-to soft plastics other than the tsunami in the winter time. What I had to do today, guys, I had to switch it up to a twitch bait and y'all just see me absolutely smashing some fish. You're gonna catch a lot of smaller ones, I feel like with it, but also there's also a pile of smaller ones in here compared to big ones. And I suggest either switching up the size a little bit bigger, maybe like a Miradine or a uh, soft suspending or hard soft suspending uh, Miradine. I don't know what they're called, but they sink pretty fast. And all I did was put a couple pinch weights just to get my lure down on the bottom. But either way, guys, go check me out on Facebook. It's Fish Catcher Jacoby and Instagram, Fish Catcher Jacoby. I'm going to start putting teasers for all my, my videos that are about to come out a couple of days before on my Facebook and Instagram. But either way, guys, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And it's your boy, Fish Catcher Jacoby.